Local Federal MP, the member for Karangamite, Sarah Henderson, joins me now live from Lawn on Victoria's Surf Coast. Sarah, thanks so much for your time. Can you describe firstly for us the conditions there today? You're on the ground, you must know exactly how hot and windy it is. Uh, Liz, good morning. Yes, it's very hot. As we say, it's an absolute stinker here on the surf coast and the Great Ocean Road. I've just spoken with the Deputy Incident Controller. Uh, this fire at the moment, uh, there is some flare-up, some break-ups with the very, very hot weather. The uh, evacuations are underway and uh, we're hoping and praying, Liz, that uh, this fire will not reach Kennet River. At the moment, the wind is blowing from the northwest, so the, the fire is actually running back on itself and heading back towards the Great Ocean Road. Hence why this road can't be reopened between Lawn and Apollo Bay. Very, very dangerous. But we're mm. just keeping our fingers crossed, Liz, that uh, this fire can be contained as best as possible away from these settlements of Kennet River, Grey River and also Wangara. You can see smoke in the background there behind you, Sarah, but also plenty of people on the beach enjoying New Year's Eve. Do many of them seem concerned at all by this? Have they been sort of put off and had to reschedule plans for tonight because of this? Or? Actually, just to assure everyone in Lawn, that's actually not smoke. I think we've got some um, heavy cloud. There is smoke down to the south, so further south at the back of Wire River. So that's good news. I don't want to panic everyone. But people are okay. very concerned here in Lawn. And just to let people know, the Fire Ready app that uh, the CFA uses, people need to actually read it very, very carefully because if you go into a Lawn area, you might see an evacuation uh, call. But that actually does not relate to Lawn. It relates to Kennet River, Grey River and Wangara. But there is a lot of concern. And as Craig Lapsley, Lapsley, the Emergency Management Commissioner, said yesterday at the big community meeting, a massive meeting, if you are concerned about fire, then it is best to leave. Uh, you must have a fire plan and uh, you must take extreme care because as we've seen in Ash Wednesday, the memories are very, very stark of the horrific damage caused by Ash Wednesday and the lives lost. Things can change very, very quickly in these very unpredictable conditions. So to anyone who does have concerns uh, and doesn't want to take the risk, they probably should leave the area. Absolutely. So Sarah, at this stage, as you said, lawn isn't affected where you are right now, but there is uh, concern that that could be the case. At the moment, the, evac the evacuations are only being urged in the Kennet River, Grey River and Wangara communities. Is that right? That's right. So that's further south of Wire River. So at the moment, okay. everything is fine in Lawn, but everyone is being asked to be on the highest possible alert uh, because things can change. Uh, these conditions are, are very hot, very unpredictable. Uh, Liz, there's a, a cool change expected to come through about six o'clock tonight. So all day we're going to have these northwesterly winds, and uh, they are pretty uh, perilous, of course. So uh, really, uh, very, very concerning. So can I say to everyone once the road reopens they must go to uh, the koala cafe down in uh, down in Kennet River it's so important that we invest in the local economy at a time when these businesses and caravan parks are really doing it very very tough indeed Sarah Henderson the local member for Karangamite joining us live there from Lawn thanks so much for your time really appreciate it